hello and welcome back today i'm going to show you how i made this coloring sheet these images i got from mid journey and so i went into my free subscription to canva yes i downgraded it and i opened the file up and it's an eight and eight and a half by eleven so that's basically the standard size sheet of paper right um you can do whatever size you like and i went in and i selected all of the photos that i have now this is supposed to be a 20 page one however i have 21 images so the duplicate one is going to be my cover page to make it easier for this um, project so as you can see i selected all of them uploaded the files i clicked the upload files button brought them into canva they all came in together because i selected them together and i am currently working on a um ipad a i believe um i'm not sure what version it is so i'm able to put all of them together now what i'm going to do is add each of them of course there's always a shortcut to do it but this is how i'm going to do it those three dots because i'm up here i don't have a mouse that's showing you so i'm going to click the three dots um set image Set image as background. So that's going to cover up the entire sheet. So I'm going to go in and do it for all 21 photos. And as you can see at the bottom, I'm adding the pages. So I'm just adding more blank sheets to be able to create how of the 21 photos, basically. And it can be a little time consuming, but it's not that bad because I'm basically just sitting up in my room chilling, watching, you know, multitasking. And I'm like, okay, well, let me go ahead and make a little video. But before this, um, well, I will make this one available on my um, send out. Send out is a great tool to use um, for uh, digital items, digital downloads, if you don't want to use other platforms. But they've been good to me so i'm going to make this one available for a really really good price but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get these going so the thing for this one was a um it was like a um i want to say it was a some type of festival or something that i generated so i just kind of went with it and found 20 pictures that i thought would be cute and you know nice color machine so, okay, I'm on page 16, 17, 18, and at, at, by the end, I just started adding them in, however, making sure that I got the right ones up there. And of course, the mid-journey, well, the mid-journey plan that I have is a $10 one, it's the cheapest one you can get. So... Pretty much that's all I paid to get this going because my send out I don't have to pay for it until someone actually makes the purchase so yeah as you can see these are the 21 images the I'm going through the sheets to find a duplicate now the duplicate I'm going to move it up I'm going to click on it and move it up to the top and as you can see, that's it. And I'm going to drag it up and you can see the purple line that just shows you that you can place it there and it shows you the position that it'll be in. And so with that being said, this is my front page and this page, I'm going to create a title on it. Again, this is the duplicate. There is a picture, the same picture in there available to, you know, for coloring sheet. But anyway, I'm just going to create a title for it. I actually just clicked add a heading i use the um large add a heading and i'm not going to do any type of fancy font i'm going to just go ahead and type it in um black for right now of course the black you can't see because all of the images are in black and white so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of the title and i'm going to add 
one of the ele go to elements um, in the left hand corner and I'm going to add a, uh, a square. So as you can see, I changed the title to like a reddish color. And I wanted to bring it down so it doesn't like, you know, just overpower the picture or anything like that. I think that's a good spot. I'm going to move it down a little bit more. And again, I'm going to go over to Element. Oh, yeah, I was just fighting with the, the font sizes. So I was trying to select all of it. And it's so much easier using it when you have your mouse on your computer. But like I said, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Now that I got it together... Okay, I enlarged my picture so you can see what we got really, really going on here. And the title is Cultural Vibes Coloring Book. And I ended up changing it. I ended up changing it to Cultural Vibes 20 Pages Coloring Book. So anyway, this is my square that I created. And I'm going to take that square and I'm going to size them together. Now, generally, when you use this on the computer, you can just highlight the two of them and you can group it together but um, I can't really do that right now so I'm going to have to just move them together like move one at a time so if I move the square down I'm going to move that down and then I'm going to move the um, words on top of it And pretty much once you're, you know, satisfied with how it looks, the size, and, you know, um, yeah, just leave it that way, I guess, you know, yeah. So, I'm just playing around with it a little bit more, and that's my title page, I'm not doing anything fancy, because it's just, it's all about the coloring sheets, and I think they're absolutely beautiful, they basically um, speak for themselves. This is where I decided to change the title and of course I had to do a little bit more um, adjusting the title again. Okay, once I finally get the title together, as you can see, this is basically my book. This is my coloring book. Now, generally when you print these out for like, say if you want to put it on Amazon, you would put a blank sheet behind all of them. But because I'm doing this for my send out, I really don't have to do that. I'm going to download it as a PDF print because that's going to give me basically the PDF format for it to be able to, you know, be downloaded. Um, and then say like if you wanted to put it on your, um, like in good notes or something like that, you can do that as well. Or you can just, you know, use it however you want on your computer to color it if you want to. So yeah, that's the um, helpful font. Um, once I go find it because of the device I'm using, I have to go into files to find it or whatever. And when I um, put it into my files, I generally save it as a download. And then I can take that download and... Like right here, after I save files, 
I can take that download and put it wherever I want. So for this one, like I said, I'm going to go and save it once in my iPad because I don't think I, I don't really do the cloud thingy. But anyway, so yep, that's pretty much it. The book is downloaded. Um, I'm going to click it and show you how it looks inside the PDF print. This is how it looks when you download it from the PDF print. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to have this book available. And I'm going to just drop it down in the uh, description box. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.